Welcome to this tutorial showing you how to create a piece of work in response to the artist Jell Martins. And in Photopia, I am ready to start a new project. So I'm going to click New Project and I'm going to go to Print and A4. But instead of 297 on there, I'm going to change it to 300 and click Create. OK. Um, and I'm also going to open another new project and in this one the width is going to be 105 and the height is going to be 75 and we must make sure that this is transparent and click OK. Right, this is where we're going to create the pattern that's going to help us to fill our project. So I'm going to go to the shapes tool and choose custom shapes and go for this arrow in the top left corner and I'm going to draw the arrow into the area and then I'm going to use the arrow tool to resize it making sure that it starts from the middle and you should feel a bit of a snap as it hits the middle there it is and that it goes right the way to the top and the bottom and the right hand corner. Okay. Um, you want it to be an empty shape. So you're going to choose the X for fill. And for the stroke, you're going to choose black. And you're going to go for about one pixel in size, something like that, one or two. Okay. Right. Then I'm going to duplicate this shape. And I'm going to use the arrow tool just to grab the right hand handle and flip it over to the left hand side. OK, then you're going to grab the pen tool and you're going to draw a line from the top right hand corner to the bottom right hand corner and you'll barely be able to see it. OK, once I've done that, I'm going to edit, define new and pattern. And at the top of the page, you'll see pattern added quickly flash up. OK, now I'm going to go to my main project and you're going to go to the bottom right hand corner and click on new layer and make a new layer. And you're going to double click on that layer and choose pattern overlay and then go to the little box and choose your pattern that you've just made. It's not that easy to see, but trust me, it's there. OK, next you're going to go to your colour select and make sure it's white. And you're going to use the paint bucket tool to fill the whole area. And because you've got the pattern overlay on that layer, it fills that area with pattern. And I'll just zoom in so you can see the pattern. Because the lines are so thin on the pattern, you can only see them really zoomed in. OK, then I'm going to right click on the layer and rasterize the layer style. So it's no longer a layer style, so it's part of the layer. I now want to get rid of the white, so I'm going to use the magic wand tool and I'm going to turn the contiguous button off and I'm going to click on the white and it's going to select all the white and then I'm going to press delete and it's going to get rid of that white. See, I've got the white layer underneath. I'll just make that invisible so you can see. It's got rid of all the white on that layer. Okay, so I'm just left with those lines. So now I can start filling in between those lines and I've got all these photos that I took up in Wales, and I'm going to use the rectangle select tool to select parts of these photos. Press Control C to copy and Control V to paste in, and then use the arrow tool to drag it and resize it so that it fits into one of the boxes, one of the triangles. Okay. Then I'm just going to move this layer down below the pattern so I can see the pattern. OK, and on the pattern layer, I'm going to grab the magic wand and I'm going to click in the area that I'm trying to fill. And I'm going, oh, I need to turn off the contiguous. Otherwise, it still chooses everything. There we go. OK, right. So I've just chosen that section. So I go select inverse and it's chosen everything else. So when I go back to my photo layer and I press delete, everything else disappears. OK, right. I'll repeat that so you can see it again. File, open, grab a photo that you want. And there's me in the scene. 
but I don't want that. I want the landscape behind. So rectangle select, control C to copy it, control V to paste it in and grab the arrow tool to move it and resize it. Ooh. There we go. Make sure you press shift so the photo doesn't stretch or squish. And then you can decide what area you want it to be in. I'm trying to get the uh, cow in the picture. So I've just got to make it a bit bigger. There we go. Okay, and same as before, magic wand tool on the pattern layer and choose that section. Go back to your photo layer, press select and inverse, and then press delete. So it deletes everything around the section. Okay, another time, open, grab another photo, select a part of it, control C to copy it, control V to paste it in. There it is. Use the arrow tool to resize it to fit where you're going. And I'm going to cover two areas with it this time. Magic wand tool on the pattern layer and press shift to select multiple layers. And I'm selecting those two. Back to my photo layer, select an inverse and press delete. Okay. One more time. Choose another photo. Mm, stop dithering, Nick. This one will do. Okay. Select a part of it with the rectangle select. Control C to copy it. Control V to paste it in. You can see it's just there. And I'm going to go for three sections this time. So move it down to the bottom corner. Resize it making sure I'm pressing shift while I do that to keep it the same shape. Go back to my pattern layer and the magic wand and select the three or four pieces that I want it to be in. Go back to the photo layer, select an inverse, press delete. Okay. And that is how you fill the whole of it up, but I'm not going to bore you by making you watch me fill all the sections in exactly the same way. I will fade out and then come back and you can now see my finished piece where I have filled in all the sections using exactly the same process. And this piece is done and dusted. I hope you find this tutorial helpful.